<laughs> okay, so we're going to just jump in and start doing new stuff in 4-4. We'll save homework from 4-3 if there's time. I just want to make sure we get through 4-4. So as promised yesterday, uh, some work problems. Once we get them set up, they're mostly going to be easier to solve, in my opinion, than the ones that we've been solving yesterday. So I'm going to start on 176. If you want to join me there, at the bottom of the page in red, it says, try this, number one. Uh, there are three machines, A, B, and C, in a factory. When all three machines run, they'll produce 287 volts per hour. So can somebody make me an equation out of that first couple sentences? A plus B plus C. Equals 287. They said all three machines run, we got 287. Then they say, when only A and C work, we're going to go 197. So somebody get going there. A plus C. 197. Then the last couple sentences say, when A and B work, we get 202. So A plus B. B equals 202. And they want to know how many volts can each one produce. So A is going to be something, B is going to be something, C is going to be something, and we're going to need just about that much space to get this figured out. Okay? Uh, if you turn off the part of your brain that has any anxiety about chapter 4, being in algebra 2, having systems of equations, seeing a word problem, and you just read back through the paragraph and apply your like basic human math common sense, you don't need actually any algebra background to do this. You, you could drop this in the hands of a much younger person than you that has just good math instincts and they can pop you some of these answers pretty quickly. Uh, can anybody pop pretty quickly one of the three out of A, B, or C? And then we'll have them explain why, or someone else explain why, and everyone will go, oh, that wasn't that hard. Anybody get me an A or a B or a C? B is 90. Yeah, you can very quickly figure out that B would have to be 90, not so much by like Algebra 2, but just by like, oh, yeah, that has to be 90. Can somebody explain where that 90 just came from? It's because, uh, oh, go ahead. Yeah, it's, it's the one that's 387 and the one that's 197. Yeah, what did we have to do to get that 90? Subtract. Okay, this equation, they shut down the B. Okay, all three of the machines were running, you got a lot of stuff. When they shut down the B, instead of 287, you got 197 instead from the other machines running. So the B, if you subtract these numbers, once it got shut off, the B has to be a 90. What's a letter you could have gotten even before you got the B, or we could get it now, or we could get it later, but there's another easy one, C. Okay, this equation, we shut down the C machine. So how are you going to get the C number? 287 minus 202. 287 minus 202 can tell you that the C is 85. B and C are the two easier ones to get. You can get them pretty immediately by just subtracting the right numbers. If I lost anybody, I can rewind that because that we can all do that for sure. Does anybody need me to help you get to there where we comfortably, confidently can get those? Okay, the A is a little bit more of a task because the A is not immediately available. We could get A from here, now that we know B and C. You could get A from there, now that you knew C. You could get A from here, now that you know B. It doesn't really matter where you get the A, but go get the A from somewhere. Uh, let's go from the bottom, just because that's where I'm looking right now, is if we know that the B is 90, how much would the A have to be? 112. A little bit of algebra doing opposites, subtract the 90, get the 112 out of that. Uh, there's a couple in the homework that are like that. It's not a whole page where they're all identical to this, but there's a couple in the homework that are like that. They've got three things going, 
They shut one of them down, so you subtract. They shut another one down, so you resubtract. And once you've got a couple of them, you can get the third. Anybody question about that game? Once you knew the B was 90, you could replace the B with a 90, and then just do an opposite and subtract the 90 to get a 112. Didn't have to do it there. We knew C was 85. So if you'd have put this 85 in for C and done an opposite there, we could have gotten the same answer. Or top row, you could have put in the B and the C once we knew them. But you need to put something somewhere to get A. Is that okay? Anybody else on that type? The homework is all odd, so I'm going to do a couple of the evens. So number two, uh, just looking at 177, I'll do number two with you. So number two says the sum of three numbers is 57. So if the sum of three numbers is 57. X, Y, Z, they're all adding equals 57. Question about first sentence makes first equation. Second sentence, just patiently grab one little tidbit at a time. The second, y, is equals 3 more than, more than, plus, first, x. Question about second sentence, second equation. Third sentence. Third is six more than first. That's a different looking problem than anything we've seen in the last couple days. Okay, we're pretty used to seeing this X, Y, Z, like all of these big stacks of threes. Uh, we, don't, we don't have the big stacks of threes. This is set up a different way for us. Anybody with positive experiences from 4.2 and memories of 4.2 on 2 by 2 systems, what is this one readier to do for us than anything we've seen for a couple sections? Substitution. substitution. Why is this ready made for substitution? Y equals X E stuff. Z equals X E stuff. So if Y equals some X E stuff, put that where Y is. Z equals some X E stuff. Put that where z is. And then this whole equation is only going to have x. We'd have the original x plus, instead of y, 3 plus x plus, instead of z, 6 plus x, but it still equals 57. Uh, this is set up ready made for substitution. A couple of the homework questions. They're very nicely set up for substitution. You have two different letters, they each equal the same old letter, same old letter. If you make those replacements, it's just the one letter and we're good. Question about how substitution came back to life. On the take home, is substitution going to be the way to go at all? Probably not. Okay, anything on 174? Probably not. Could you? I guess. Uh, but in this homework, for sure, substitution is going to be nicely like given to you on a platter. Uh, solve. What's up now? 3x plus 9. We have a 3x plus a 9 mm. equals a 57. 3x equals 48. It is 48 once we subtract the 9. So x is 16. We still need to get y and z, but we'll hesitate a moment. Uh, we've, we've got our x figured out question about how we got the X figured out. Where are we going to get the Y from? Um, plug it in. Plug it in there. Plug it in here. Plug it into this thing that I circled. This is here to give us Y's. The Y is 3 more than the X. So once we know the X is 16, the Y's got to be 19. And to get the Z, same thing. same thing. Just move down one. And look at this. This is ready to give you Z. 6 more than X. We knew X. So 6 more than the X is 22. Question about 2. 
I'll slide up to eight. For eight, it says there's a triangle ABC. So what do I want to do on this? We haven't done all chapter problems. Draw a picture. Draw a picture, so draw a picture of a triangle. We've got a triangle A, B, C. Uh, it says B is three times A. So the angle for B is three times A. So here I'm just going to pencil into this B corner, three A. And I might as well on A's corner pencil in an A. They say at C's corner, C is 20 more than A. A plus 20. This would be an A plus 20. If I want to write some equations here, um, I can go B is 3A if I wanted to. I could go C is 20 more than A if I want to. That's only two equations and there's three variables so that doesn't get the job done. What is, what's the other equation involved anytime they start dropping you triangles? 180. Uh, something with 180. Yeah, namely A plus B plus C has to equal 180. Question about how a system got generated out of that? Then you have two ways to go. If you're looking at the system, what is this set up to have us do again? Substitution. The 3A can replace B. The 20 plus A can replace C. Or, if you're looking at the picture, what in the picture does geometry tell us to do anyway? Add up all those angles and it has to equal 180. So whether you're looking at the picture or whether you're looking at the equations we made, if you add this stuff all up, or if you do the substitutions and add that stuff all up, how many A's are there? Five A's. Scattered stray numbers. One. So whether you look at the equation substitutions or whether you look at the picture, you're still you're going to arrive at this. Question about arrival with this? So the 3A can replace the B. The 20 plus A can replace the C. So if we add those up, this A, this 3A, and that original A is a 5A. And then there's like a 20 straying around as well. Or if we look at the picture, this, this, this is another way we could see the 5A and the 20 hanging around and triangles equal 180 going back, you know, whatever grade. We learned that in life. Anybody trouble getting to where we are? Algebra opposites, you first have to okay. subtract the 20 gets you 160, so A is... 32, and then we need to go get ourselves B and C. And on this one, it doesn't really matter if you look at the picture or look at the equations. So we've, we've got an A of 32. If we look here to the B, multiply by 3. Multiply by three. So 3 times 32 gets us 96. 96. If you'd rather look here, doesn't matter because this is also telling you to do 3 times 32 also gets you 96. For the C, we can either look at the C part of the picture and add 20 to A. Or you can look at this equation that's telling you add 20 to A. But C is going to be the A we had, 20 more. 52. Question about 8. And I've got one more on tap, which is 10. So 10 says, Pat is picking strawberries. He picked 87. Uh, Tuesday is 15 more than Monday. Wednesday is 3 fewer than Tuesday. How much he picked each day. So the 87 needs to be an equation. What days were at work to do the 87? Uh, no. Oh, wait. 
Yeah, I agree. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I agree. So there's a Monday, a Tuesday, a Wednesday. All three of those days add up to 87. It says Tuesday was 15 more than Monday. So what are you going to do about this Tuesday being 15 more than Monday? T equals M plus 15 works just fine. Okay, since Monday was smaller, Tuesday is bigger, the Monday needs to add the 15 to make a Tuesday. We didn't have a word is in there, but if you rephrase the sentence to say Tuesday was 15 more than Monday, I mean, the is is where the, like the pick verb was, I guess. About Tuesday is 15 more than Monday. Then they say Wednesday is three fewer than Tuesday. So Wednesday, what's up with Wednesday if it's three fewer than Tuesday? T minus the minus of three. Question about how the paragraph took us here. This one is set up for uh, substitution still, but it's not as well set up for substitution as this one was. This was a better set up for substitution than this. Does anybody have an observation why that is? So you would have you would put the W like the T equals or equals T minus three where the W is, but then you have to put the T equals M plus fifteen in both. Okay, so plus it, if we put this in for T like we did before, and we put this in for W like we did before, why does it not quite? Still have there's still a T. There's still T's. There's still a couple variables. Okay, this was great because both letters equal A stuff. So we only got A stuff. Here, both letters equal X stuff. So everything was X stuff. This equals M's and that equals T's, so we have a little bit of a mishmash of things. There's a couple ways you can resolve that crisis. Uh, anybody have a suggestion of how to resolve the crisis? The crisis is there's still too many letters. If this equals M and this equals T's, it's like two letters a lot. Anybody see a path where we can make it so we only have one? Letter, so we end up in a place more like where we were on this earlier. Okay, that is a path. Okay, so there's two. There's two about equally good paths. If t equals this, don't right away put it up top, but put it into the other spot, because t equaled m stuff. If you put that m stuff here, then the w is only going to equal. M stuff. That's perfectly valid. Anybody have another perfectly valid way that we could resolve the controversy? Okay. We could take this one on and instead of having it be T equals, do a quick reshuffle so that it's M equals. Okay. If we reshuffle this to get the M alone, what would M equal? T minus 15. So if you reshuffle this, we only have T's. If you do a switch into here, what would W equal if we put this M stuff right here? M plus 12. Which way should you go? Whatever you want to do. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make one bit of difference. So. Some people might have been more comfortable with me just getting the one letter solved. Other people might have been more comfortable with the substitution. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but this was an original equation. This was an original equation. This was an original equation. Again, the crisis here was T equal one letter, but W equal a different letter. And, and you don't want to have two different letters. So. The easiest thing for more people to understand, I think, is probably this. If T equals one letter, but W equals a different letter, just look and notice, everybody's got a T. So take the T equals equation and get it reshuffled. So that the M could equal a T minus 15. I'm going to just work with these. But the, the thing you started with, 100% correct. I have no criticism of that. I just have to pick a way to code. 
Anybody want me to run that conversation back? We had uh, had a problem of two ways to solve it, and sometimes that's good because you have options, and sometimes it's bad because sometimes I confuse people because I'm giving you two choices of how you can go. Huh? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so if the camera didn't catch that, someone from the hallway yelled, huh? Really, very pretty loudly. Uh, but I'm going to go substitution now. Okay, so the M is still there. The T could still be there, but I'm going to replace the T. No, 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 I'm lying to you. We wanted to keep our T's. Take that back. So the M we decided a second ago was going to be T minus 15. This T I'm going to leave. This W all along had been T minus 3, and I'm sitting at 87 now. Something about that. If we took Aubrey's idea of this, everything would be W's. We'd have had the, uh, or no, everything would be M's. We'd have left the M. The T would have been replaced by M's. The W would have been replaced by M's. We'd have all M's instead. It's not better or worse. It's just T total? Three? Minus 18. Opposites fill? Add 18 up to. One of five. Divide. 35. So we've got Tuesday, we need Monday, and we need Wednesday. So if Tuesday is 35, uh, Wednesday was three fewer than Tuesday. So Wednesday, 32. Uh, Tuesday was 15 more than Monday. In other words, Tuesday subtract 15 to create Monday. Monday is going to be a 20. Question about that. I didn't do it at all, but what will I recommend everybody do? Check. Check. These are all odds, so you can look in the back. Uh, these are all problems I pre-worked. I guarantee you those are all correct. On a test, you'd have to like think through the sentences again. Is Monday, uh, what did the sentences say? Tuesday, 15 more than Monday? Yep. Is Wednesday three fewer than Tuesday? Yup. If we added those up, would those all make 87? Uh, yup. You know, just try the sentences out and see if it works. A little bit of quick advice problem by problem on this. We're going 1 to 15 odd. So what you have to show me is a 3 by 3 system. Debatably how much work you're going to show. And then the answer. Like to try this problem, was there any work to even show? No, so I'll show work. Uh, some of these middle ones where we did substitution, there'd be some work to show on those. Okay, but problem by problem, they're just going to be different. Uh, every answer is going to be a whole number. There are no fractions. No, it's a slight lie. One of the problems has halves involved. Uh, but you'll see that in the back of the book. They're primarily whole numbers. I will drop you a tip from my notes here. Number one, temporarily you're going to get fractions or decimals in your work. Whole numbers will reemerge for the answer. But when you do number one, there's going to need to be some temporary decimals or fractions in the work. Because uh, one of the equations kind of starts off with like a 2x equals odd stuff. So if 2x equals odd stuff, you're going to have to make this be x equals, and you're going to get uh, stuff, over two. stuff over 2 or decimals that are 0. 0.5. How you do that, I don't care. You do fractions, you do decimals, whatever. But when you go to do number 1, one of the equations that sets up as 2x equals odd stuff, and you're going to have to make it x equals some decimal or fraction stuff for a second. Uh, 3, I'll tell you, 3 is going to solve like the take home. Uh, when you go to work number three, the setup is going to look kind of like XYZ, XYZ, XY, and then maybe they throw the Z on the other side of the equals. But you're, when you set up the system, 
It's not going to be these shorter ones like the board mostly did. It's going to have all the letters. So if they go X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, X, Y, and throw Z out of there, how do you think you should tackle that? If you got an X, Y, Z equals, an X, Y, Z equals, and then an X, Y equals with a Z that ran away. Yeah, bring the Z back to be with his friends. So bring the Z back by subtracting it, get everybody in the stacks, and the number, th uh, number three, you're going to have to solve that like the take home problems. Solve that like the page 174 problems. There is no way to shortcut number three. Number three is going to be the full process like what we've been doing. 11 is similar. Uh, when you go to do 11, 11 is going to give you some XYZ, XYZ, XYZ stuff. Some of the numbers are going to be on the wrong side of the equals, so you're going to have to bring them back. Uh, I think the 11 is a touch maybe easier because I think you're short like one letter. But being short one letter doesn't really get, let you do much of a shortcut. You're just going to have to do the, the take home 4.3 type process. But that's our deal. Uh, up to 15 is odds. Uh, show the system. Show whatever work is needed. Show an answer. Uh, one will have fractions in the work. Three and 11 are the two you're going to have to solve them like the take home because there's just like a lot of letters. The other ones are going to solve quicker like the ones that I did on the board. Question about 177, what's up? That's it.